evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the New World Order. Progress. My mind overloads with the confusion of a world gone criminally insane that eats its own man-made shit and pretends everything is really all just fine as a fat-ass parade of happy consumers marches by carrying placards which say business as usual and America is number one. In 2004, the never-ending concrete greed machine army of mindless developers and brain-rotted real estate concerns continues its uglification of America campaign under the euphemistic banner of so-called progress and proceeds to leave gaping wounds in our Mother Earth the size of the Titanic before it sank, just like a huge hunk of petty human lard. Fifteen billion more trees fall over, screaming to silent ears, too clogged with the poisons of self-indulgence and guilty obligation for anyone to even notice, as toilet paper is all that seems to matter these days. Meanwhile, far away in some jungle, a poor bastard hopes for total industrial collapse right as the president gets ready to invade his own mother's drawers for lingerie and makeup to wear at the next silly press conference. Suddenly there is a knock on my door and the lecherous, busy-bodied, soul-sucking, goody-two-shoed neighbor of everyone's worst dream steps in with a phony smile and a petition which reads, sign your life away to the yuppie hall of fame or else die. I slam the door on his teeth and get down on my knees to pray for paradise long lost. Just then, the TV set turns itself on to a perfectly normal, everyday picture of 6,000 sexless, reasonably dressed slaves of modern morality who all yell in unison, We must clean up the neighborhood! We must clean up the neighborhood! The sound of weeping and gnashing teeth fills the credit card air as another 50,000 condominiums go up and the bums move to the back of another bus, making it obvious that the jackhammers of man-made compulsion and overblown self-importance still rule the lives of the wicked witches of the West. Meanwhile, in the back alleys of all our modern broken dreams, the last frontier of human consciousness quickly evaporates and the giant phallus of material conquest slowly sinks into the well-known Western policy called manifest cruelty, disguised as love thy neighbor as thyself. What the hell happened, I say to myself. You don't know, do you, replies God's own guru. It is too late to figure it all out now. The dreadful has already happened. The last vestige of hope for a civilization of bored idiots in love with green pieces of paper slowly fades into a bunch of slobbering, tongue-waving, rabid dogs, and the two-faced, greedy survivors eat each other alive as the sound of another unsophisticated yellow bulldozer crunches down one last tree with a crash of final cleanliness and the insects of my imagination fall asleep singing, God bless America. God bless America. God bless America.